Sweet. All right, so now our machine's beeping and our light is on. The light's our low dump indicator, okay? So when it beeps, it means we're up to temperature. We're ready to start loading the machine with popcorn and oil. It's gonna pop and it's gonna beep again at the end of the batch to be dumped and then load it again, okay? So we're gonna pop regular movie theater buttered popcorn, okay? So we're gonna use 48 ounces of seed. We're gonna use our button push of oil. We don't ever have to measure oil. That's gonna be a whole new thing. And uh, we're gonna use two ounces of the butter flavored salt, okay? So my butterfly seeds right down here. Just gonna fill that right up. I like to take my salt, I pour it right in, and I pour it right in the seed. So now I only have to dump this in. I don't have to dump this little cup in too, okay? So I push my button. My oil, the same amount of oil that we measured before, is now going directly into the popper. And I'm just going to dump my seed right in. And shut the lid. Okay? This kettle gets very hot. Okay? This will never get hot. You can open the lid, close the lid from this, and you'll never, it'll never get hot. And we're going to dump it with this. This will never get hot. Just don't touch the rest. Will that continuously be? No, it's going to shut off when it senses the load is in there. It's going to stop any yeah. sound. So, what I like to do is get another batch ready. Because as soon as we dump this one, we're going to get another one right in. Once this kettle's on and hot, it just wants to pop. It doesn't want to be shut off in between batches. It just wants to pop its brains out nonstop. And that's how you're going to get your best product because the machine is really hot and it's popping the kernels to their full popping potential, okay? Each batch is gonna take about three minutes. So I'm gonna get another measure of corn ready. Get another measure of salt, put it right in with my corn. As Soon as it pops out, I'm gonna dump it. I'm going to hit my button again for oil, put the seed, and now another batch will be going. And will it, it, will it beep when it's done? Correct. And will it beep and that when it's done, it needs to stat again? Correct. The beep that stops is the beep to stat. Correct. When it beeps again, it actually says load slash dump. So if there's a load in there and it beeps, that means dump. But it's on an over, it's on an overshoot, they call it. Okay? So when the beeper goes off, it's not necessarily dumping right away, it's, it's about to be ready. Because you're going to see, um, like on yours, when you're stirring that kettle corn, you don't dump it until it's all the way done. You're going to see this will still be popping when it beeps. We'll put our exhaust fan on low. For this, when we're doing kettle corn, we'll first batch always takes a little bit longer because you just brought the kettle up to temperature and then we just put ingredients in it to cool it back down a little. The second batch is going to be faster and faster. So with this popcorn we're making now, it's totally regular, buttery and salty. We could go to the movie theater; it will be the same recipe they use there. Here you go. Your first batch of your new machine. Amen. <laughs> so totally automatic right now. You just let it pop on its own until it's done popping. Then we dump, put it in a little bit, that's all you have to do.
I'm glad you have a tile floor. I know. It opens on its own. Oh. It's on a counterweight. As soon as the pump work popped enough to push it open, it opened on its own. Yeah. The first bath, for some reason, always does this. With that. It spits out extra popcorn, and once it gets broken in a little, it won't do that. Oh. I don't know what it is. Went this one over your head that way. That's not going to happen all the time. Okay. What's that? What that's telling us is that it's back up to temperature, ready for another load. But we're still popping. If I dump now, I'm going to have a bunch of unpopped kernels. So I wait till it's done by listening. You want to hear one pop every other second when it slows down like this. That's when we're going to dump it. Okay. So I just dump it like this, I can shake it, let it all fall out, bring it back up, and hit my oil right away. I want to get my next batch started as soon as possible. So after I dump, I hit my button, put my seed in, now there's another batch in there cooking. You never turned the motor 